12th class, third chapter current electricity, 12th session. We are going to understand some terms in an electrical circuit. Let us take it like this. There is a resistor. Resistor is nothing but a conductor, right? There is a conductor. You can say it like a conductor. For a current to flow through the conductor, it should be provided with a cell. Cell is an agent which maintain a potential difference between the ends of the conductor. Cell maintain a potential difference between the ends of the conductor. One side is plus, another is negative. One is high potential, another is low potential. And a constant potential difference is maintained between the ends of the conductor using this cell. Now, we should understand some terms. One is EMF. It is represented by E. Next is terminal potential difference. It is represented by V. Current, as you all know. Next is the internal resistance. Internal resistance. See, all these are the terms we are going to study in this class. First of all, I will explain you what is an internal resistance. See, there is an external resistor R, right? What is that resistance actually? That is the opposition offered when current flow through the conductor. So, when I write a resistor like this, when I draw a resistor like this, it means the entire opposition is concentrated here. Actually, there is a connecting wire and a conductor. And the conductor, the resistance of conductor, the resistor of connecting wire, everything is concentrated here. Means there is no any opposition along this conducting wire now. Because the entire opposition, we represent it at the external resistance. So, there is an external resistance R, which means the entire opposition is concentrated there. But for the current to flow, this should, it, it should complete the path means it should start from one point and should come back to the other point and come back to the same point. Then only we can say the circuit is complete. So, during the circuit or during the current through the entire closed circuit, there is a track inside the cell, right? There is a track inside the cell. And you know what is a cell? In chemistry, you studied about electrolyte taken in a container and there are two electrodes. Okay, these are the main factors in a cell. So, inside electrolyte, two electrodes are, one is cathode, another is anode. So, when charges flow through this electrolyte and electrodes, this electrolyte and electrode offers an opposition. Okay. That depends on so many factors, the nature of the electrolyte, the nature of the electrode, concentration of the electrolyte, and part of the electrode dipped inside the electrolyte. You have to understand that. Nature of the electrolyte, internal resistance, what I am saying, internal resistance, that the resistance offered inside the battery. The resistance offered inside the battery, we call it as internal resistance. Just like there is an external circuit and there is an external opposition or external resistance, there is an internal resistance inside the battery. And battery or a cell, Battery is a combination of cell. Individually a cell consists of an electrolyte, two electrodes. Now the internal resistance depends on nature of the electrolyte, nature of the electrode and concentration of the electrolyte. And finally, what much part of the electrode is inside the electrolyte. So all these are the factors internal resistance depends on. We have to write that. The factors depending on the value of internal resistance. So, the internal resistance will vary because you know, as and uh, continuously the cell is being used, the level of the electrolyte will come down. So, internal resistance is not a constant value, it will change from time to time. But in our problem, to study it uh, comparatively simply, 
in our 10th or 12th class syllabus, we take internal resistance as a fixed quantity. Actually, internal resistance is not a fixed quantity, it will change. But in our uh, simple 12th standard class, we study internal resistance as a constant. When you go for engineering degree and all, you will find internal resistance varying with a function and all. But here we take internal resistance as a constant. So, internal resistance is the resistance offered within the cell, inside the cell when current moves. Okay. Now, so we have to understand there are two kinds of opposition offered. One is the opposition offered outside the circuit and the other is the opposition offered inside the circuit. So, for the current to flow, this opposition or this barrier should be over K. Ready? This barrier should be over K. So, there is a requirement of work to make the current to flow through the circuit. Now, that much work to move a unit charge, right? Work to make a unit charge round the circuit. The work done for unit charge to move round the circuit, full round for unit charge, we call it as EMF. Okay. So, EMF <coughs> is the work done. <coughs> EMF is the work done to move a unit positive charge once around the circuit. You know, once around the circuit. That is the total work supplied by the battery. For unit charge, we call it as EMF. And that consists of two parts. One, to move from one end to one terminal to the positive terminal to the negative terminal. That means the work done across the resistor. Ready? The work done across the resistor. And we call it as potential difference. And other part is the work which is required inside it. Internal drop, we say it as. The other one is the external drop. Drop means that kind of work is being utilized. So we say drop. So the drop, potential drop across outside resistor, across the external resistor, and there is an internal drop inside the cell. So we can say the EMF is composed of external drop plus internal drop. That is the total work to move the unit positive charge once around the circuit. So we can say the EMF is equal to V. Okay. Let this internal resistance be smaller, smaller, and its EMF is E. Means what? It is hidden that there is a resistance inside. Like you can imagine a cell like this. You can imagine a cell like this. Why? There is a resistance inside the cell. So I'm not drawing that resistance inside. In some textbook, they draw like this. Means a resistance very close to the EMF, very close to the cell, we call it as an internal resistance. But here I, 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 uh, I, suggest you just to understand, just to have a uh, consumption that there is a resistance inside, that's all. So plus internal drop. This is the total EMF. So that is EMF is equal to V. V, what do you mean by V? Potential difference. Potential difference is nothing but the current flowing into R plus the same current through inside also. The same current flows through inside also. So, it will be I into small r. That's all. So, you can say EMF is equal to I into R plus R. What? I into R plus R. So, what is I? The value of I will be E divided by R plus R. That's the equation for the current. So, all these equations will be need of to draw, do the problems and all. So, EMF is equal to I into R plus R or I equal E divided by R plus R. Now, what is potential difference V? V is nothing but IR, right? Now, that is equal to E divided by R plus R, which is the current into external resistance R. So simple. Now, similarly, similarly, if you want to, if you want to get, like I can write like EMF is equal to V plus IR, right? 
V plus I R. So, what is uh, V? V equal to E minus I R. E minus I R. V equal to E minus I R in this case. So, terminal potential difference is equal to EMF minus internal drop. Now, when I equal to 0, V equal to E, right? When I equal to 0, V equal to E. So, if there is a cut in the wire, current will not flow. Sorry. If there is a cut in the wire, means an open circuit. If there is a cut in the wire, current will not flow. Then I equal to 0. So, V equal to E. So, you can say EMF is defined as the potential difference of an open circuit. Reverse also you can say potential difference is also is equal to the EMF of an open circuit. Open circuit means there is no current flowing. In a closed circuit only current flows. So, EMF can also be defined as the potential difference in an open circuit. When the resistance is very high like gap, air gap is a high resistance. High resistance means there is no current flowing. Okay, these are all the basic things we have to understand about internal resistance, potential difference. Now, a special case I have to say, a special case, and that special case is when the cell is under charging. Cell is under charging. Now, what happens for cell to be charged? We have to provide a high potential difference across it. Then the current will be flowing into the cell. You got it? Means current actually current is coming out of the positive when current drew, I mean when current is drawn from cell. When you are making current to flow into the cell or when the cell is under charging, that direction of current is reversed. So this I will become minus I. So the V will be equal to E minus minus I R or V will be equal to E plus I R. So, you have to clear, you have to clear that idea. This is not happening every time. It is happening only when the cell is under charging. When any cell, for any cell, if the current is flowing towards the positive terminal, actually the current will be coming out from the positive terminal. If the current is flowing towards the positive terminal, potential difference will be equal to EMF plus IR. That's all. Thank you.